Now, if you're looking for smart transitions, you're going to find them under the scene menu and then under transitions in that panel. If you hit that plus button, go to in or out, you have smart transition as an option. What you have to remember about smart transitions is that they are based on your scenes. And I explain what scenes are in this video right here, new animated layout packs in Descript. But in this video, we're just talking about the smart transitions that you can add in between your different scene layouts. So let's create our first scene so you can see these transitions in action. I'm gonna add a slash right here in my timeline. You'll see that scene boundary show up here in the transcript too, because this first section of my video, I want to have a scene that looks different than the one I just set up. So what I have is my background. I have myself as a circle. And if I zoom in a little, you should be able to see I have a white border with a shadow. I think that's a really elegant way to put yourself on the screen as a little bubble in the corner. So right now I'm just kind of getting everything in place. I want my video to start off with a little bit of a split screen here. It's a little awkward because I'm not even looking at the camera, but once it gets to the scene change, this is what happens. Delete those days. See how it goes from a split screen to my base layout screen, right? It just jumps from one to the other. Not very smooth. I'm gonna come up to the scene menu, hit transition in smart transition. Now let's see what happens. Cut, delete those days. Did you see how smooth that was? Cut, delete those days. It takes into account where my scene boundary is and then gradually transitions to that base layout that I started with. That is a smart transition in action. So if we look at the settings for this, you can see that automatically by default, the duration of the transition is gonna be eight tenths of a second. The easing is gonna be natural. Easing just means, if you see the little squiggly line, it's that gives you sort of a visual representation of the actual animation that takes place. And because we added a smart transition to the beginning of this scene, the end of the previous scene automatically has a smart transition applied to it because that transition has to happen before the end of the scene really gets there. Just as a reminder, I do have a Descript cheat sheet that I just recently updated with Descript's new updates. You can grab that for free down in the description below this video. This is part of an extended series here on my channel all about Descript. So if you want to get more efficient and faster with your Descript editing, make sure you hit subscribe. Now, if you go back to the home screen of your Descript and then go up to your settings up here, in your settings, window under general, you will have this apply smart transitions to new scenes check. You can turn this on and then anytime you add a scene to your timeline, it'll automatically add that smart transition for you. It's also important to note that smart transitions are currently in beta, but I did use them to edit my whole entire last video and they honestly, they worked flawlessly. So let's create another scene. I'm going to put a slash right here and I actually want to kind of start from the layout that I have up here in this first scene. So I'm going to select that first scene, hit copy layout. I'm going to come down to this second scene. I'm gonna right click and choose paste layout and that's going to make it so there's really no transition that happens because nothing has really changed. But what I do want to change is to put this back to original and then fill scene editor. So now the transition is gonna look like this. Delete those days. I love it, so smooth. So I wanna switch to a different scene here now because there's this place where I'm not really looking at the camera and it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of strange. So I actually want to kind of set this up. So I'm just going to line my video up with the frame in the Descript project like this. Remove silences in Descript. That is so cool. I'm gonna add another scene here. We'll switch back to this full face or full frame of just me on camera. So let's see what this whole thing looks like when it's put together. 
cut, cut, delete. Those days are over because in this video, I want to show you how to remove silences in Descript. There's a couple of ways to do it. There's the easy way, the fast way, and there's the precise way. And since Descript doesn't get it 100% right, 100% of the time, I wanna show you how to fix some of Descript's hiccups with this too. So I have a podcast project, that's pretty cool. It would have taken me at least a half an hour, if not more, to get all of those transitions precise in exactly the way that I wanted to because we're talking about transitioning the clip with my face plus the clip with the background. And you've always been able to add transitions in Descript, but now it's so much easier to make them smooth and polished. And honestly, they look professional. They could have been edited in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. One thing I noticed that I keep running into here is just uh, sort of like accidentally forgetting that if I add a scene, so if I add a slash down here and my cursor is still here, but I try to move something around, it may not move or stay where I'm expecting it to, because remember, it automatically applied that smart transition. So where I am in the timeline is in the middle of a transition. So if you want to see where your uh, actual element or whatever it is is going to be positioned after the transition, just go ahead and move your cursor down uh, the timeline a little bit. That way you're not trying to edit something in the middle of the transition. So as far as some of the settings go, the easing options are some that you might want to play with. For example, let's hit elastic out and get rid of any silences. That way that kind of bounces. That's cute. Personally, I just kind of like the natural setting. And don't forget, you can go back to your previous scene to copy that layout and then paste it where you're working now if you don't want to have to like recreate that same look again. So that's how you use Descript's new smart transitions. Give them a try. I think you're going to love them. And if you want more Descript tutorials just like this one, make sure you hit subscribe and grab my cheat sheet down in the description below this video.